Hello sim racers. I was wondering what would happen if I was to try and use voice attack to complete some of my commands when I was using Assetto Corsa Competition. Because as you know I use a TSPC Thrustmaster wheel and there's a limitation to how many buttons I can have. And right now I don't have a button box or anything like that set up and I was curious if I'd be able to use voice attack to take care of some of those commands that I don't have space for on my wheel or don't easily be able to reach on my keyboard. And I took a look on YouTube to see if there were any videos for it. I, I managed to find a few but there wasn't anything that was particularly helpful or sort of explained the process. So I decided this morning to sit down and put together a profile which I've now called the Assetto Corsa Competizione CSR uh, profile. It's for voice attack and it has a complete list of commands which you'd be able to use whilst driving in ACC and it would be completely voice controlled. So it helps you to control things like, for example, your pit limiter, your ignition, starter. So we can take a quick look at the commands here. With this edit profile, we can see here the commands listed in alphabetical order as to the different things that we can do with the car. So this list here is going to be available on the Discord server with the download for all of this already pre-programmed. So the work's been done to save you the hassle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and have a quick test on Assetto Corsa Competizione just for me to give you a quick run through and just show you basically how this works. Okay, so here we are folks. We have jumped into a uh, single player mode here. We're at Monza, just in a practice mode. Just basically to just run through some of the controls just to show you very quickly. As I found out on the off-camera stuff, it is very, very important that you make sure when using voice attack you actually have the specific window selected that you want to control so just give your mouse a click on ACC just to make sure that it's all working and that you're not touching some window in the background as I've just found out for the last five minutes so we're gonna jump right into drive as I've explained I've turned all the auto stuff off pit limiter ignition starter There you go. This is amazing. So we're going to leave as you see we're stuck on 50. Pit limiter. And away we go. So I mean just that in itself it's really really helpful. Um, the only thing is using voice attack, I don't know how much talking you'd want to be doing for fear of confusing the voice attack as it were. Uh, so I mean I guess we're going to find out now. But uh, let's try it. TC down. TC down. TC down. ABS down. ABS down. And there we go, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen there at the bottom, you can obviously see the adjustments are being made. TC2 up. But it doesn't always listen. TC2 up. TC2 up. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes you have to space out your words a little bit. Just to make sure. TC up, TC up, there we go, TC2 down, I don't think that one worked, so it can be a little bit hit and miss here and there, TC2 down, yeah there you go, work that time. So uh, yeah, you can change all of those different features, which is really cool. Uh, wipers, wipers, there you go, wipers, wipers, there you go, it comes off. I think if you look, there's a light on the dash is going to come up, I'm going to go lights, lights. There we go, that turns on our lights. Lights. 
lights. Okay, that switches it to another mode. And then we go lights. Lights. I think we're killing somebody with our main beam right now. Lights. Lights. There we go. Now it's switched off. So yeah, so some of them... I think the thing with the voice attack, it does tell you that you have to keep talking to it. I don't use mine that regularly, but apparently it does become more familiar with your voice over time. The more you use it. I don't know what kind of special magic makes that happen, but apparently it does. So I guess the more I do use it, the more it'll pick up on those slight variances. The other problem is the fact that the microphone being so close to my headphones, the, uh, the engine sounds. Because I mean the computer obviously doesn't understand exactly what you're saying, it picks up on a sequence of sound patterns. So the headphones being so close with the engine noise might actually be creating some of the issue. So it might just be sort of worth bearing that in mind. I am testing this live with you right now. Um, so yeah, what else can we do with the car? Flasher. I think that's one of the commands. Flasher. Flashers. Is it flasher or flashers? I can't remember. That's one of them. It's on the list anyway. You can try it out for yourself. What else do we have? Uh, left indicator. Left indicator. Yep, there we go. And I have to say it again to turn it off. Left indicator. Left indicator. Yeah, so there's definitely a, a bleed over from the sound into the microphone. So the engine noise definitely sort of messes with it a bit. So you're going to have to play with your levels to get it to a place where the voice attack will definitely understand you all the time. I just actually, uh, I wanted to run into the pits with you as well, just so you can see the pit limiter come on and off. You did see it go on at the beginning, but uh, we're just going to skip ahead to that part and then you will see that in a second. Pit limiter. Ignition. Ignition, starter. Pit limiter, pit limiter. Right, so obviously you definitely want to get that sharpened up because you don't want to be in the middle of a race and figuring that out on the way out of the pit lane. But uh, obviously, again, as I say, the more you speak to your voice attack, the more likely it is to understand you, apparently. So, so just wanted to go through that with you guys, just show you what's up with that. Maybe some of you are going to enjoy using that as an option. Let, definitely let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed before, please feel free to do so to see any more of these random things that we're going to come up with or sim racing or some of our reviews. Uh, and obviously feel free to make uh, some comments, let us know what you think, give some feedback. Maybe if uh, any of you do come up with some slightly different profiles or different things that you can do with this, share it with the rest of us. So uh, again, like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. It's kind of fun playing like this. <laughs>